My name is Konstantinos Lagios. I had been practicing 10 years uh, general dentistry before I joined the program in here in the United States at Baylor uh, Dental School. Uh, I got my certificate in endodontics and uh, the master's in endodontics from Baylor. And then I practiced for uh, 15 years endodontics, private practice, um, lecturing all over the world and uh, giving hands-on courses on uh, surgeries, uh, pretreatments and um, treatments. Um, I worked uh, here in the uh, United States for three years uh, while in the dental school as a graduate student. And then uh, I have been working 25 years in Greece as a general practitioner and as an endodontist. I see no differences between the two countries because the only thing that the patients uh, take a care about is that your dentist should take care of them in a nice way, be soft, um, and trying to do the best that he can do. And also, I found that all over the places, not only Greece and United States, people are very grateful if you do your best and uh, if you make them feel comfortable while you're working because you must make them feel at home while you are working on them and make, make them feel that you are there for them, you care and you are very focused on what you are doing. And that's the only thing that uh, they care about. And the result, most of the time they will uh, judge the result not only according if, it, if the result was successful or not, but according to what experience did they have and what kind of contact they had uh, during the treatment. The advances that I see in uh, endodontics uh, the last years was the use of uh, the microscope and also the advantage that we have to, <clears throat> to incorporate in our uh, techniques uh, from implant dentistry and from adhesive dentistry because we have a root canal system that we have to fill with any materials that are available in dentistry. And this means uh, not only the conservative materials that we have like gutta percha and sealers, but also we have to, to think that we, now we have composites and other uh, things that we have to incorporate in our armamentarium. And I think that uh, endodontics will, uh, uh, will be a lot better if we listen to other specialties and if we look at other specialties what they have done. For example, we can, in our surgeries, we can incorporate many, uh, many techniques from the uh, bone regeneration techniques that they use in implant dentistry and uh, also adhesive dentistry is a very uh, good thing that we can use in our specialty. In retreating I found useful um, lasers and uh, also uh, new ultrasonic tips that have come up and uh, new tips for removing the posts. Uh, the cases that you're going to see in my lecture are cases where we start from difficult cases where we have to overpass broken instruments or to remove broken instruments, cases where large perforations were done by the previous dentist that uh, tried to treat the tooth, and also cases where we have huge resorptions and we have first to heal the bone and then to rebuild the roots. I, I'm very surprised that um, when the patients come to my office, they are very well prepared for what they're going to listen and what decide they have to take. And the reason is that the Internet has given to them the opportunity to be exposed in ideas and what is better for them. I mean, they know very well what is an implant and also they know very well what is the retreatment and uh, in many cases they are well informed. 
And what I see lately is that patients want to have a good retreatment or a good treatment over implants. And they prefer that because they have heard or they have informed that sometimes the implants do not work and it's better first to try to save their teeth and if this won't, be, uh, won't happen then to go and choose the implants. First of all you have to be honest with people and you have to well inform them all the advantages and disadvantages of a treatment or a retreatment of a tooth endodontically. And then you have to tell them the advantages or disadvantages of placing an implant because placing an implant, it depends not only of, uh, on the quality of the bone but on the quantity of the bone and the area and the long-term prognosis. So you have to inform them very well about all the possibilities that this patient must have. And then they, most of the time, I am surprised that Right now, most of the time, they will take the right decision for them. There are people that they will come and they will nicely force you to do the root canal on a tooth that it doesn't have many chances. Now, if I see that the tooth has no chances, I refuse. But if I see that there are few chances um, and I will not be as successful as I can be in other cases, I will let them know and then we'll make the decision. But then in these patients I will give them more time and uh, I will let them know all the chances that we have. And uh, most of the time I'm surprised that the people right now, they are not only well informed, but by instinct, many, many times, they will take the right decision. And sometimes, they will force you to be successful in cases that you didn't even believe in them. Outside of dentistry, I would like to take long walks uh, <clears throat> across the, the sea uh, or up in the mountains, read books and uh, think what is good and what is best for the humanity. For more education programs, visit the Guide Institute at www.guidedental.com.